Hey YouTube, Gallagher123123 back with another iOS 15 video. In fact, this is our first feature demonstration. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the smaller changes in voiceover. So we'll take a look at voiceover settings and have a look at what is there. Not a whole lot new in there, but I figured it's still worth taking a look at it, so let's get into it. For this demonstration, I am using an iPhone XR, which is, of course, running iOS 15. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and unlock the iPhone XR. 245 p.m. Okay. Safari. Okay, we're unlocked. I'll go ahead and turn up the volume a little bit there. Weather I'm folder. going Two to use Explore by Touch. And... Settings. Okay, there I just swiped over to Settings. I'll double tap to open. And settings. I'm going to use Explore by Touch because I can get to it a little bit faster that way to get down to accessibility. Set focus screen time, general button, controls at display and home screen, accessibility button. Okay, there's accessibility. I will double tap. Accessibility features help vision. And Adding. I swiped right to voiceover find on. voiceover. I'll double tap. Voiceover on. Okay, here we are in the voiceover settings screen. Now, most of the changes that I'm going to show are in the verbosity section. So we're going to head there first. Voice, tap, double tap, learn more. Again, voiceover practice. Button. I'm just using normal voiceover navigation. Looking right. Speaking rate, speaking, speech, but braille, but voiceover recognition, verbosity button. And so I'll go in here to verbosity and double tap. Punctuation button. Okay, punctuation, that is there before. Customize how punctuation is output. Speak hints off. Of course, you have the toggle there for speak hints. Always speak notifications off. Always speak notifications. That is a familiar setting. However, it has moved here into verbosity. In previous versions of iOS, it was just in the main voiceover settings screen. But I think moving it here to verbosity makes a lot of sense. So that is where always speak notifications is if it is a setting that you use and are looking for. Quick nav announcements, speak button. Quick nav announcements. In iOS 13, if you use a Bluetooth keyboard or braille display, you may have noticed that quick nav started playing a little tone instead of the quick nav on off announcement. Well, in here, Selected. you can change Speak. that. Now, I have changed it already. Play sound. Change pitch. To play. Selected. Speak. Speak from play sound. play sound. Now, you can actually select multiple of these. Selected. Play sound. Selected. Speak. Selected. Play sound. Play sound. Selected. Speak. So your full range of options are speak, selected, speak, play sound, play sound, change pitch, change pitch, braille, braille. So I guess that would show the message on the braille display. Do nothing, or do nothing. I'm going to just click, leave so this on speak, Head, verbosity, and let's button. go back into verbosity. Quick nav announcements, speak, flashlight notifications on button. So flashlight notifications. I'll go in here. Flashlight notifications on. And it's just a simple on-off toggle. Alert when the flashlight is left on. And as this implies, you'll get a notification if you leave the flashlight on. And that can be helpful because it's easy to accidentally do that. So when I tried it, it I locked the screen and it said flashlight on. So it just was kind of a gentle reminder that you left the light on. Flash, flashlight notifications. Verbosity. Back button. Okay, let's go back. Verbosity. Flashlight notification. Capital letters. Speed cap. Okay, button. now we're into the settings that have been there a while deleting text capital, so letters. capital letters deleting text do nothing deleting button. text links play sound button. links actually that used to be known as embedded links but they just made it short and sweet and changed it to links actions play sound button. actions that was there beginning with ios 14 more content do nothing but more content container description more content speak. i guess more content do nothing i button. should say container descriptions speak change pitch braille and container button. descriptions all of these have been there a while numbers words but now we come to another new options and that is for numbers selected words so i'll go in here and we have words digits and digits so this has been available on the mac for quite a while but it is now here on the iphone and 
this is pretty simple. So if you have it set to words, the number 10 would be announced as 10. But if you have it set to digits, you would hear one zero. So it's nice that they give you that choice here in iOS 15. Verbosity, back button. Okay, Verbosity. I'm gonna go back. Numbers, words, but table output. Heading. Now all the rest of these are familiar. Table headers on, row and column numbers on, determines whether this information is output when navigating tables. Rotor actions, heading, speed confirmation on, emojis, speak, braille, button. Except for a slight change with emojis, before that used to be just a simple toggle called speak emojis, but now you can have emojis, selected, speak, a speak selected, braille, and display in braille. Do nothing. Select, selected, speak, emojis, verbosity, back button. If you have a braille display. Okay, let's verbosity. go back. Emojis, emoji suffix, off. That's just the emoji suffix where voiceover would read an emoji as, say, face with tears of joy emoji. I like that off, and I believe it is off by default. Speaks the word emoji when emoji are read in text content. Media descriptions, off. And then you have your media descriptions. Determines how closed captions plus SDH are output during media playback. Okay, so that is verbosity. I have to just go back into verbosity heading. Oops, go back in voiceover. Back to voiceover, voiceover settings for a minute to show a few other quick button, things. Speech button. Speech. There are no new options here except Voice, Alex button. Voice detect languages. Pitch change off. They shortened that control to now be pitch change instead of use pitch change. Okay, let's go back. Speech. Voiceover. Back button. Voiceover. Speech. Braille. Voiceover recognition. Now button. in this main screen there are two new options here Verbos, audio but commands but activities rotor button rotor action typing button quick settings button quick settings is actually what we're going to cover in the next video so stay tuned for that it is basically a way of quickly adjusting settings navigation style flat button and navigation style we'll take a look at after we do quick settings and that pretty much brings the concept of interaction from the Mac over here to iOS. Pretty cool, actually. Navigate images, always. Large and cursor. Navigate off. images, large cursor. Caption panel, off. Caption panel and double tap double timeout. Tap timeout. Point two fives, button. So that is a bit of what is new in the voiceover settings. Now, there is one more little enhancement that is quite nice, and I'll just do a quick demo of it. Settings. And that is if you use the rotor. Now, I'm just going to put the phone down on the table so I can do the gesture easier. Um, so. Characters. Words. So, that sounds all normal. Speaking rate, 55%. But that is the change. It will now tell you the value that the setting is on. So, you heard speaking rate, 55%. Hints off. Hints off. Braille screen input. Or in portrait. Headings. Language. Default actions. Activate. Characters. So, you can hear how the rotor is set. Okay, well, that is what I wanted to show in this video, taking a look at some of the smaller changes to voiceover. And stay tuned, because more iOS 15 videos are on the way. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this iOS 15 feature demonstration. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications to learn about upcoming videos. You can also keep up to date by following me on Twitter at Gallagher123123. Thank you for watching.